The Trump economy and the Federal Reserve next on your Labor Minute. Hello, I'm Mark Harrison. President Trump called on the Federal Reserve last week to cut interest rates and to take whatever steps might be necessary to stimulate the economy. As well, Mr. Trump nominated two very politically partisan men to positions on the seven-member board of governors of the Fed. Those men are Stephen Moore, who is currently an advisor to the president and founded the conservative Club for Growth and is a conservative-minded economist, and Herman Cain, a former Republican candidate for president who was forced to abandon his campaign in 2012 because of multiple claims of sexual harassment, a point the president seems to be tone deaf on unless it involves a political rival. Speaking to the press, the president said, I personally think the Fed should drop rates. I think they have really slowed us down. There's no inflation. But despite that, we're doing very well, he said. And he's not exactly wrong when he says that, because last Friday the Labor Department reported that U.S. economy added 196,000 jobs in March. That's the 102nd month straight that it has done so. And in spite of that, the president has consistently criticized his own appointed chair to the Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell, for raising interest rates. And the president wants the Fed to return to buying back assets like Treasury bonds and mortgage-backed securities as a way to push rates lower. The idea of appointing a politically-minded ally to the Board of Governors is looking very much like a politically motivated move to influence the Fed into heating up the economy even further as we head into Mr. Trump's re-election campaign. Now, Lawrence Summers, a former Treasury Secretary, said that Trump's comments suggested the president's raw and total confusion on monetary policy and that publicly debating the Fed undermines confidence in our currency and in our country. I couldn't agree more. I'm Mark Harrison with your Labor Minute.